Okay, so now we are just about to cross the street and go to this quarter of Fur Eleven, so called. Uh, along this street, uh, by the way, that uh, goes through here and surrounds the city center, there used to be a moat in the Middle Ages. So a moat is like, you know, channel with water that surrounds the castle. So we're, when we cross this street, we'll get out of uh, medieval city center. Uh, yes, so in the main market square, as you see, we went downstairs a little bit. So Wrocław is totally flat. And believe me or no, but for centuries and centuries and centuries of people growing in there, they bring some rubbish and some dirt, so they make the city grow. Uh, all cities grow, in fact. And the other thing is that buildings, because they are heavy, they, you know, collapse to the ground. So, for example, if you go to Kraków, uh, have you been to Kraków, any of you? Yes. Yes, so, so any, any uh, medieval church that you enter in the city center of Kraków, you always go downstairs. So the floors in those churches are like original, you know, medieval surfaces in a modern city. So similar to here. There are nine, nine layers of some old, old rubbish that any time they dig for something, they have to go through it. Uh, yes, uh, this building here, I, actually I stopped to the, the buildings to you. Yes, this is a library of Wrocław University. It was built in the end of 19th century. So this style is uh, a bit similar to Gothic, but it is called Neo-Gothic. So, Yes, in the 19th century people realized that some old forms were so cool, so yeah, let's do it again. Old forms of architecture, so yes, you can see some gothic, gothic shape in this building, but it's not gothic. It's a library now, we also have to try to sell this building, uh, because they have built another library. Uh, honestly, I have no idea who would buy it, because, you know, running a library is not the best business today, so I don't know who would buy it eventually. Yes, I still owe them one book, by the way, uh, from my studies. <laughs> Uh, yes, and the other building there, it also belongs to Wrocław University. And uh, yes, uh, I'm, I'm sure they won't sell this building because it's very, very important. It's a palace, palace of a noble family in Wrocław. Their name was Wallenberg Pachali. And the Wallenberg Pachali, they hired the best architect, whose name was uh, Karo Gotthard Lanka. So that's the guy who designed Brandenburg Gate in Berlin, one of the symbols of Europe. So as it usually happens with some great artists, he was not very appreciated as long as he was alive in around here. Died, uh, in Berlin, he didn't make much career. He wasn't very popular in there. He just designed this stupid gate, and he got to go back to Wrocław, which, as I as I mentioned, was a richer city than Berlin. Anyway, yes. So now let's go to this quarter of our religions. Uh, excuse me. The statue does it have a head? You know, it's uh, some statues are missing heads. Still, uh, because you know, because first of all, it was the, like distractions of Second World War, because uh, this area here was uh, it was a place of, of some fierce fights. Uh, for example, yeah, the, the Nazis, when they were def defending the city, they blown up all buildings along this, this street here, which is where a moat was. Uh, they you know blown up all the buildings to get some material to build like a, like a barricade or something along the city center. Yes, and the other thing is uh, that uh, some statues are missing cats, because uh, as I said, in, after the Second World War, uh, Germans were expelled and the people that m moved here, or not, not moved, but were also expelled and were forced to settle in here, were some uh, people from, yes, Eastern Poland. So usually they were really upset about this fact that they, you know, came to this uh, pile of ruins they were supposed, you know, to, to settle. And also they were deprived of their properties in Ukraine, so yes, they were destroying <laughs> monuments a lot because they, you know, they were just mad. So they, when they were seeing any monument, they were always saying, "Oh, German monuments!" So let's destroy them. So some uh, some monuments are still missing heads or just faces because they were like, you know, and they were encouraged by authorities, by communist authorities, to do this, which is also uh, interesting. 